In Matthew 20, Jesus encounters two blind men who are crying out for the Lord because they heard the crowd following him. These two men were obviously blind, and Jesus knew it. But he made a point of asking them what he could do for them. Of course, they both said, Lord, that our eyes may be opened. Jesus had compassion and touched their eyes, and they were healed. However, he might have been asking them the question in order to see if their answer would be different than the obvious. How concerned are you with getting your physical needs met as opposed to your spiritual ones? Now, a pagan might see this encounter as a get three wishes from the genie kind of thing. But what would you want if Jesus asked you the same question? What can I do for you? Your physical needs might be the first thing to come to mind, but would you really want to waste this kind of opportunity on something temporal? Some have asked the Lord for such things as wisdom or faith, but my response would be much more fundamental. Let me know you better, Lord. I believe a fresh encounter with the King of Kings would produce multiple fruit in many areas of life. And it's interesting that this particular encounter included two blind men instead of just one. There weren't two crippled men. There weren't two men laying beside the pool of Bethesda to be healed. Why two blind men? I've thought it might be a simple analogy that we have two eyes with which to see, and oftentimes we're double-minded when it comes to a desire to focus one eye on the things of the world while the other tries to focus on the things of heaven. Of course, this makes for a cross-eyed way of living. But whatever you ask God, friend, let it be a wholehearted request.